What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today is going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to do this cool smoke bomb like magical sort of effect and we're going to be doing this in After Effects so if you want to learn how to do this effect let's get started and keep watching. <laughs> okay so I have my new composition right here and the first thing we're going to do is go to layer and then press new solid and we're just going to keep the colors black. And then we're going to go to effects and search up fractal noise and we're going to put that on the solid. And then we're going to change the noise type to spline and then bring the contrast up a little bit to like 180 and brightness down to around 45. And now you can see kind of the sort of shape of the smoke bomb or magical sort of effect. And then I like to have the smoke looking like sharp so I'm going to bring the complexity up to like seven or eight and then we're gonna go to transform and I'm gonna bring the scale up so it's a lot bigger so I'll keep it around 350 and then we're also gonna change it to invert so it's like not too big of smoke okay now we're gonna go down to the composition and go and click on our solid and press the drop down and go to effects press the drop down and then we're gonna go to evolution and we're gonna be making an expression so you want to hold all on the keyframe button and then it opens up this line and you're gonna type in time and then the star and 100 so now we've just made an expression so it's looping and I keep it at 100 because it's pretty slow and natural looking. But if you want the movement to be a little bit faster, you can bring it up to like 300 or 400. I'm actually just going to adjust the complexity a little bit because I like it to be a little bit sharper. Okay, now we're going to go and add some color on this. So I'm going to go to effects and presets and we're going to add hue and saturation. And so I'm going to bring that on my solid and then I'm going to press that box that says colorize. Make sure that check mark is checked. And then I'm going to make the color like pink. You guys can choose whatever color you want. And then this is optional, but you can add another color. So I'm just going to duplicate the solid again. And then I'm going to change this color to like purple, but I'm going to offset it. So you can see both colors. So I'm going to go to the transform and the fractal noise. And then I'm going to go to offset turbulence and then adjust the position. And it could be wherever way you want. It just has to be different from your other solid. Okay, now let's bring in a new clip so we can see how this effect looks. So I brought this clip of me in a forest and this looks like a place where you'd find a smoke bomb or some sort of magical fairy dust effect. I don't know. So we're going to bring that to the bottom line of the composition and then we're going to select the two solids and then change the blending mode to screen. Okay, now you can just watch that clip back and you can see it has this really cool smoky effect. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, pretty magical. You can also adjust the opacity a little bit if you want it to be a little bit of a lighter effect. So I'm gonna press T and then bring that opacity down. And yeah, um, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below more tutorial requests because I'm trying to get back in the tutorial groove this summer. Like, I just need to work hard. So, give me some ideas, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.